both the Tesla Cybertruck and the Tesla Semi, Class 8 Semi truck, have been spotted with LiDAR. Now, the global media are saying, hang on a minute, Tesla changed their minds. If they admitted they were wrong all along, that LiDAR is the future. Well, actually, I'm going to set the record straight here. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Electric Viking. Great to see you. Welcome to all the new subscribers. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for supporting the channel. At the moment, it's been, well, for me, for the family here, it's been a pretty crazy time. We're in Thailand right now while Shanna's undergoing her cancer treatments. And thanks to many of you, we've been able to afford those expensive treatments, which, well, basically here in Australia, they said there wasn't much chance. Thank you so much. Now, Tesla have attached LiDAR to the semi and to the Cybertruck. They've done it. It's true. This is a true story. Does that mean that they are now saying LiDAR is part of the future? We need LiDAR for autonomy. We need LiDAR for vision. Are Tesla changing their minds? Media are saying they are. Media are saying, look, 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 look. we told you, we told you Tesla was wrong. Look, 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 see, see, see. That's what they're doing. So I think it's important we actually assess that and make judgment on whether or not the media are right or they're once again just trying to clickbait you. Now, when I say the media, I mean, even Inside EVs is getting on this. Julian Denistrin, who probably knows better, said, Tesla is hard at work developing the final versions of its upcoming Cybertruck pickup, as well as a refined version of the Class 8 semi-truck with sightings of two prototypes with what appears to be a LiDAR setup mounted on the hood of the development vehicles. Now, I think it's worth stopping him for a minute here and pointing out that we've seen LiDAR on other Tesla EVs in the past. Worth thinking about that. The semi-prototype was spotted by Twitter user the Kilowatts, who posted a series of photos showing a Zeno Matty X unit fitted under the windshield to which the user with an older photo of prototype Cybertruck wearing the same setup of digital eyes was seen as well. Now, Inside EV says Tesla and Elon Musk have previously said on several occasions that LiDAR, which stands for light detection and ranging, is a fool's errand, unnecessary, and like having a whole bunch of expensive appendices. So with this being said, what's Tesla doing with two LiDAR equipped prototypes on the road? Electric said that this isn't the first time that Tesla EVs have been spotted with LiDAR. That's because the company is testing its own vision-based driver assistance system against other sensors. That's what Electric claims. A lot of their claims to me, in my opinion, lately have been uh, quite clickbaity, trying to say things to get you excited or get you worked up. This is what they said. The claim that Tesla may be planning to use LiDAR as part of its self-driving hardware suite is fundamentally untrue. We regularly test our own technologies against other sensors to calibrate our camera, sonar, and radar system coming to Tesla. LiDAR is a method for determining range by targeting an object or a surface with a laser and measuring the time for the reflected light to return to the receiver. With the Cybertruck's production start inching closer, it makes sense to test its hardware four based autopilot full self-driving suite to make it ready for real world conditions when the pickup goes into customers' hands this summer. The point here is Tesla has on numerous occasions in the past said it uses these LiDAR systems in order to develop its own vehicles, essentially. No, Tesla does not think LiDAR is needed or even useful for autonomous driving. That's what they say, and they're sticking with it. As for the semi, Tesla are doing the same thing as with the Cybertruck. However, Tesla haven't said anything about whether or not the Semi would have autonomous driving or where they're up to with that. But they did say years ago, the plan was for the Semi, the Class 8 Semi, to actually have full self-driving. That was the plan for their future. They didn't say when that would happen for the Semi, but they did say that that was part of their goals. And recently, people have noted and seen autopilot cameras on Semis meaning the truck is in fact equipped with the hardware to run, say, autopilot, maybe even full self-driving. And now Tesla has started testing cameras and a sensor suite on the Semi, which could make the Semi a good choice for long-haul deliveries. But of course, Tesla wouldn't be making it able to be able to drive without any touching of the wheel unless it has full approval. I'm thinking looking at a couple of years yet before we see fully autonomous driving in a Semi, maybe four or five years until we get to that point where we know they're 100% safe, safer than truck drivers. And yes, truck drivers do fall asleep. It's true. I have seen 
in fact, in the last few years, some pretty major accidents caused by truck drivers falling asleep. Some of them here in Australia have been ta have taken drugs, done ice, and then crashed into a whole bunch of people and killed them. So how much safer would a semi be if it had full self-driving? Well, think about it this way, right? When you go in an airplane, who do you think drives the airplane? Do you think the pilot is actually flying the airplane? Or do you think the computer is? Well, I can tell you now, the computer does. The pilot is only there as a backup in case the computer fails. That's the case in basically all aircraft. It won't be long before that's the same with the semi. In fact, I think it won't be long before we see that being the same with cars. When I say it won't be long, maybe 10 years away. It's going to happen, it's inevitable. Does Tesla think that LiDAR is part of that future? No, they do not. I don't believe they're gonna change their mind on that at any time in the future. Media, how about we stop reporting on this bogus nonsense that Tesla's changed their mind on LiDAR because look, 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 look. We know that that's not the case. We know that they're not doing that in this situation here. But does that mean that other automakers are wrong? Other automakers, I mean, what about Waymo? What about General Motors? Does that mean they're wrong about using LiDAR? Well, maybe, maybe not. I'll have a video coming soon on my opinion on that. Let me know yours though in the comment section below and thank you for watching. Bye-bye.